Hello, my name is KC Shah. I'm a technology professional and an attorney at law with the state bar of California. I have also passed the patent bar exam and I would like to share my knowledge and experience with you. To that end, I have written up a practice question for claim counting topic within the patent bar. Now, claim counting is one of those topics. It's, it's fairly easy if you understand it, if you know exactly what you're looking for in those type of fact patents. Also, it's very well documented in MPAP 608.01N. You just have to look up that if you do not remember some of those rules. But there are only a handful of the rules here. So, the way I want you to address claim counting problem is in evaluate it in uh, four ways, right? So first, you got to find out independent claims, uh, how many and which are independent claims. Then you have to find out dependent claims, which are dependent and dependent on what. And then which are multiple dependent claims. Again, what are they dependent on? Which multiple claims they are dependent on? And then you have to find out what are invalid claims out of those that are invariably going to be invalid claims, generally in the area of multiple dependent claim area. So you need to really pay attention to those. Once you have that, you're going to be fine. So let me walk you through this scenario that I have written up for you. So in this scenario, Sam has filed a non-provisional patent application with the following types of claims. Claim 1, Claim 2, Claim 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay. So the formula here is you need to, you need to come up with a table, right? So the way I recommend is, is this. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to say this is independent. So you're going to write I. 1. This is dependent claim. What does it depend on? Claim 1. And that's fine. So we're going to say D1. Claim number 3. Independent claim again. So we're going to say I1. Claim number 4. Depends on claim 2 and 3. Now, is this valid? No, this is not a valid syntax. And I'm going to go over those that detail with you. This is not, it, can, it, could, it should say any one of those claim two and three, not claim two and three like that. So this is invalid multiple dependent claim. Does it count? Yes, it counts as one dependent claim, even though it is invalid. And we're going to say cross at the, in the bracket. That means it is an incorrect, okay? This one, is it valid? Two or three? Yes, indeed. And this is dependent on what, how many claims? So two, and then we got claim five, six, and seven. So those are three claims. So three times two, okay, is gonna be six. So we got dependent six here, okay? Number eight, we got another independent and one. And then number nine depends on claim one, two, and three. Is it valid? It's a multiple dependent. Does it depend on another multiple dependent claim? No, it doesn't. So it's a valid dependent claim. We're going to claim it dependent and three, right? So that's how I want you to understand. I want you to come up with the table. And let me show you what I have done here. So what you're going to do is go down here, okay, you see that? Okay, so look at here, claim one, independent, claim two, dependent one, claim three, independent one, claim four, dependent one, but it's multiple dependent but invalid, claim five, Two dependent claim six and seven also two dependent so you do two times three or two 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 which is two times three claim eight is one independent claim nine is three dependent and the total is three independent and eleven dependent that's your answer choice a let's go back here that's your answer choice a 
uh, 3 dependent and 12 independent. So the answer choice B, 3 dependent and 11. So 3 independent and 11 dependent claims. And that, there you have it. Now here is the MPEP section. You can search on it or you can go to MPEP 600 and then click on it 608.01 during the examination. You can do that and then it will take you directly to this section. And it will it's, it talks about which is valid. So this is acceptable and what is unacceptable. So when there is an end as, as we had it, it's any one of the claims, right? And then what is unacceptable in that case? It's the end, one and two. See that? Claim three and four, that's unacceptable. So there you have it. I'm going to be posting this information for your knowledge. So good luck. Again, this is a claim counting. You've got to figure out what are independent claims, dependent, multiple dependent, invalid, generally invalid, multiple dependent, they still count as one claim and add them up and then, you know, generally question is about how many dependent or how many um, total number of claims are there when, you know, if it's a basic filing, then there are a certain number of claims that are covered part of the filing fee. So questions are around that. Sometimes you'll have to uh, go through the claim language more in depth. For example, it will give you the full claim maybe, and then you'll have to come up, you know, it's, it's going to again test you on the same principles. So thank you very much. Uh, if uh, any question, feel free to reach out to me um, or visit our website at www.hellobarprep.com. Say hello to your future. Signing off, Casey Shah. Thank you.